Welcome, 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 welcome. We're gonna do Earth, okay? We're gonna do Earth. We're gonna do Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is weekend energy. It's gonna be July 10th through the 13th. We're going till Monday. I don't know why, but we are, okay? I will tell you for my Patreon members, the push is up and ready to go. It's, it's uploaded. Anybody else that would like it, you can go to the donation link below and in the description box it will say I believe to benefit our channel and put in your donation and I will send it to you. Okay? Mystical moments 555 at gmail.com. So, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Weekend energy. Bottom of the deck. The sun. Well, that still really wanted to stay. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo. Or you could just be seeing something differently. Got the Nine of Cups. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Ace of Swords. And you have the Tower. Holy moly, holy moly. Okay, alrighty then. You could be dreaming about something, thinking about something, daydreaming. This could be a blessing. Um, could be something coming your way. Could be clarity. I, I do like that the sun is coming. Okay. Um, There is communication over the weekend. I, I, it's going to be pretty blunt. I don't know if you're going to like it, but it might be a really good thing. So tell me about this Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. So moving away from fantasy land and, and getting clarity, getting real about things. Swords. You got the Empress. Okay, so you might be communicating harshly. You or them, that message is coming right towards the Empress. Or it's the Empress giving this message. You could just be dealing with a Scorpio. You got the lovers with the Ace of Swords. So there's some type of clarity or decision or conversation that needs to be made. It's, it's a given. And then with the Tower, you got the Six of Cups. So something from your past is returning. Person, place, a thing. And it is kind of an awakening. To me, these two side by side, is, is there's an awakening coming. There's clarity. So someone could be going right towards their dreams. Okay. So I'm going to go one more round with you guys. Six of Swords is Eight of Wands. That's that communication coming with the Empress. You got the Page of Swords. So either she's watching or he's watching. With the Lovers, you got the Page of Cups. That's something new. It's fresh. It's, it's a new feeling. Okay, and with the Six of Cups, you got the Six of Wands. So something can be extremely successful here over the weekend. There is going to be communication. You are going to get clarity. It's going to be blunt. You're going to see something or they're going to see something. Underneath the sun was meditate, so you might need to go within, okay, um, and, and really think about this. So lots of communication, something out of the blue. Someone again could be going right towards, right towards their dreams or realizing their dreams and and. They're going to start communicating. Looks like the Knight of Swords is going to communicate to somebody. Possibly regarding someone. And this person, could a Leo could be the center of attention this weekend. And not in a good way or a bad way. You know, it could be you could discussing something about a Leo or a, a Leo and a possibly a Taurus or a Gemini or a Scorpio communicating. It, it could be anyone, okay? Um, this looks positive. I, I mean, I could read it as, you know, someone stalking a, a feminine finds out about someone else. But, I mean, I can't even, like, so I feel like there's something underlined, but it doesn't look that way. It looks more like, some type of an awakening or giving clarity or receiving clarity. 
So let's see what this tower is. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, please. Because there's lots of communication, stuff coming in and out. Someone's got new feelings for somebody. Yeah, Ace of Swords. We got some fast moving energy here too. What's this tower? I mean, this could be some strong dreams too, but there's there's reality here too, so I'm not worried about that. To me, I definitely think either a Scorpio or a Leo type energy, whatever propensity you're in, is the one communicating about something, and it looks to be a victory. A victory goes in someone's favor. A little victory, but still a victory. So it's still going to feel like a little bit of a, like an accomplishment. Tower, please. What is this tower? You got talking, interested, conversating more, awaiting a message. If you've been waiting on one, probably going to arrive, text, call, emailing. Okay, so <laughs> it's not really giving us much. It's it's so clear as day. And it's everything I just said. So at the bottom of the deck, you do have love. All right, passion, affection, attraction, self-love. So lots of gabbing this weekend. I don't know. Let's let's do this sun. I was just about to wrap it up because it's, it's so clear. But let's see what this sun is. If it's a person or if it's clarity. I mean, because this is definitely clarity. But like, I do feel like that sun could be an energy. It could be extremely positive. It could be something growing too. Got soulmates, soul connection, partnerships, agreements, soul contract. All right, so you're getting lots of clarity this weekend, my little earth signs. So I hope that helps you guys. I'm sorry your video was short, but in all reality, I really don't need to go any further. It was so clear cut and, and, and positive. So please stay optimistic, okay? Regardless, even if there's lovers or another person, like there's, I'm telling you, like, I just feel like there's something positive here and I don't really need to go any further. If you have um, any more questions or thoughts or maybe something you're like, eh, I don't know, you should probably go watch all the other Zodiacs. Okay. I love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.